Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video lecture we will learn about the different types of the attacking reagents that we see in the organic chemistry. In most of the organic reactions the different types of attacking reagents that we see that we come across are broadly categorized into three main groups. One is electrophile, nucleophile and the free radicals. A nucleophile is an attacking reagent that is electron rich and obviously an electron rich molecule, electron rich species will have an attraction for the nucleus. A species which is electron rich can act as a nucleophile, it is called as a nucleophile. And these nucleophiles that we see are either negatively charged particles or they will be neutral. So mostly they are negatively charged or they are neutral. But the important condition for a nucleophile, for a molecule to act as a nucleophile is that it should have at least one electron pair that it can easily donate, right? So like suppose we, like suppose we got the hydroxide is a nucleophile, Cl negative is a nucleophile, Br negative is a nucleophile, cyanide ion is a nucleophile. All these molecules are negatively charged, they have the electron pairs, okay, available and they can donate these electrons and they can attack on any center or any species which, which is electron deficient. Suppose if I have a carbon with a positive charge, these nucleophiles they will attack on the positively charged carbon, a center which is electron deficient, right? So nucleophiles attack on the electron deficient species. Similarly, neutral molecules with lone pair of electrons they can also act as a, they can also act as nucleophiles. Like suppose we have ammonia. It has a lone pair of electron. Hyd water, H2, it has two lone pair of electrons. Alcohols, ethers, all these molecules, they can act as nucleophiles because they have the electron pair available and they can donate and they can attack on the electron deficient carbon. So nucleophiles attack on the electron deficient carbon because nucleophiles are electron rich species. Alkenes with the double bonds can also act as nucleophiles. We know that alkenes have a sigma bond and a pi bond and pi bond is a weak bond. Therefore, these pi electrons can form a bond. You know, this pi electron system can also attack on a electron deficient center. So that's why alkenes also sometimes act as nucleophiles. And according to the Lewis concept, we know that Lewis base is the molecule which can donate electron pair. Electron pair donor is a Lewis base, right? According to Lewis uh, acid base concept, electron pair donor is a base and electron pair acceptor is an acid. So therefore, nucleophiles, they donate electrons. These are the electron donors. So therefore, we can say nucleophiles behave as Lewis bases, right? Electrophiles or electron deficient, right? These are the electron deficient species. Most of the electrophiles, they are either positively charged or they can also be neutral, right? Suppose we got the H plus, H plus can act as electrophile, Cl plus it can also act as electrophile because these are electron deficient. So all these electron deficient centers, they will attack on a center which is electron rich at a molecule which is electron rich. So that means carbon with a negative charge will be under the attack of the electrophile. So all these positively charged or you can see electron deficient molecules they will attack on the electron rich center. Neutral molecules can also act as free, you know, they can also act as electrophiles. Neutral molecules can also act as electrophiles. Like suppose we got the BF3, boron trifluoride. BF3, we know it has the boron, we know that boron has three electrons in the valence shell, so it can share the three electrons with the fluorine. Now boron has only six electrons in the valence shell. Its octet is not complete. It is deficient of two electrons also. So therefore boron can also 
act as electrophile because it is electron deficient. You know, it needs two more electrons so that it gets eight electrons in the valence shell. Octet is not complete, so BF3 molecule can also act as an electrophile. Similarly, AlCl3 aluminum there, it has also the six electrons in the valence shell. Sulfur trioxide also, it is electron deficient. So these neutral molecules, they can also act as electrophiles. According to the Lewis concept, electron pair acceptor is an acid. So therefore electrophiles, they can, since they can accept electron pairs, and hence they will be called as Lewis acids. So electrophiles behave as Lewis acids. Nucleophiles, they behave as Lewis bases. The third attacking reagent is a free radical. Free radical is a species with odd number of unpaired electrons and it is formed by the homolytic bond fission. Suppose we got the carbon bonded with the atom A. We know there is an electron pair between the atom A and the carbon. So if the bond fission occurs so that atom A takes one electron, carbon takes one electron, so what do you get? You get the free radical. And free radical, like here, the carbon with, you know, uh, carbon free radical and atom A with one electron, now these are also electron deficients like electrophiles. Why? Because you can see here the carbon, it has in the valence shell seven electrons. It is again deficient of one electron, right? Its oxide is not complete. To get eight electrons, it needs one electron. So that's why free radicals are also unstable molecules, very reactive species. And free radicals like electrophiles are electron deficient. The difference between the electrophiles and the free radicals is that electrophiles are two electron deficient and free radicals are one electron deficient. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.